Yeah. Yeah. Um, what's a, um, what do I want to call it? A, a cover. Yeah. Dreamx Productions. Um, I have an artist named Sliver. I think my name is Sliver. I'm going to double check. Yeah, Sliver. I have a song named Solo. I think Dreamx did send me a. Um, yeah, send me the. Um, the file the, the photo or me do use if you do the artwork so I download that and um I'm at it you know and just made some some rhythm you know someone release rhythm so this is one of them I play right now in 2021 this is the cover sliver post post the links in our WhatsApp, WhatsApp group right now so yeah man, um this are the image I would use. Probably I figure figure something for do with the the word over the top. I hate when people do that the fuck. So let's have a figure some ways how we can um mesh out mesh out everything and do the thing the right way. So yeah man, let's um let's get to it. We are gonna um up my um, up, up my folder with me image of them and with I'll put Photoshop on one side and um do it the right way down so yeah man let's get to it so we have that let's open up Photoshop as if me have internet issues so I'll just kind of pay attention to that um not like when that happened I'm thinking it can be a pain you know what I mean never really like the whole drop frame idea so yeah it seems as if it catch up and also we in a photoshop and um We're gonna start out with a with a blank, with a clean slate. Basically, with our start create new I would do three thousand by three thousand. So yeah, hopefully all of the foolishness start happen. So let's go create. So we have a blank slate right there, so. Mm -hmm. So yeah, like I said, it, <clears throat> the name of the um, track is called Solo. So I basically want kind of um, kind of function of uh, the concept that I drag in the photo right now. It looked blurry because I don't um, set it yet. So yeah, like I said, we want kind of focus upon the, the concept of of the word solo right so let's um, make this smaller and put this in the center right here so and then we can drag down this right here so yeah alright so it seems as if the internet now going to really fuck with me today you know what I mean we have a lot of a lot of drop frames and um I don't really like what I go on there, so. So, I forgot kind of be a little bit skeptical upon the, um, 
on the stream. You know what I mean? So definitely have to um, be careful with the stream thing because the drop frame thing is not a not something to play with. Um I'm not sure what the fuck I go on. This is still with it, but hopefully we can resolve the the fuck with it, right? So yeah, let's get to it. Let's get to it. Live chat. Yeah, dog. A lot of fuck you go on, pony. And stream, dog. I'm gonna like that, dog. This thing I go piss me off. It look like so. Hopefully, it kind of sort out itself, right? So, yeah, so we have the photo loading. Let me say, the artist name Sliver. So, basically, the first thing we need to do is we need to get him isolated, right? So, the first thing is basically we need to cut him out, right? So, with him here, can fine tune it later. What I'm wondering right now is kind of just get a general, you know, and general look of um, workings of everything while going on. So, Alright, so I have this I come down to in jacket, which kind of come here. So go up. Alright, cool. So what we'll do this in a section? So I we'll do like the head first, and then move on. So right, so we can basically just kind of um, select all of this area. What we do do before me? Take the next step is my door. Click on this little button down at the bottom for add a layer mass. So once my door to see the white thing pop up, right now my door right click in a blank spot somewhere. Right click and just press make selection. Juna J. <laughs> once I say <saw> wicked. <laughs> yeah man, I do everything myself, bro. I do all of my um, artwork, them all of my thumbnail, them all of them things by myself. Um, so now that we have that, what we can do is press B and switch to the brush tool, use the bracket key and make this bigger and we will take away, you know, all of this from around him. Cool. Now that we have that, we can press Ctrl and D for deselect everything and we can kind of move on to the, the other stuff. Like me say, it look rough right now, but we don't fine tune it. We just want to get him cut out and um, separated from, from everything else. So we do him head. So we're gonna do him shoes. So all I'll do is just let me say, make one rough selection like that. And then we can zoom in and um fine-tune everything, right? So for the clocks, all I'll do is we'll just put a point right at the front there. So put one here, so hold on point control, and we can do one little bit of movement. Right? So we can kind of isolate. Bum buckle like all of them drop free my dog. Dog, come on. The internet are more shaky people, I'm telling you. Uh, every time I hear that ping there, it makes me know say, I have a drop frame. So at that point here, so. Alright, let's come back over here, so now. Keep growing upon the, upon the clocks. We don't really need the shadow because we can create the owner shadow. So, the shadow upon the clocks is not really important. Zoom out. Zoom in. Alright, right, so we'll put one there so. Kinda get the clocks cut out the right way. Alright, with the pants, it's more of a random thing. So I'm gonna do, do go right in. Why? <laughs> so now that we have that, we can kinda fine-tune it. So we can add a point here so. You know, add another point here so. Bring it back, you know. Add a point. Control and Z. At a point, bring that out, you know, and kind of just get the little fold them in at the pants. You understand? Anything we need to fine tune, we can always do that. And you know, the more further up we go, 
upon the time I start become set in a one way. So it kind of become easier, right? So we have one little tricky spot, so we don't add one this, so add one here, so cool. And I mean, cool. Add one here, so bring that in. Can kind of round this up a little bit. Same thing right there, so. Run off the one a little bit more. Cool. So now we have one little spot there, so. Okay, I'm coming. That, and then we can bring out that little piece here. Sink here, so. Come out with that. Come out back out here, so. Alright. Basically, now we can start coming down. Alright, cool. This is a tedious job, I tell you. Right now, I'm not I'm just really kind of go and rough it out. Not really worry about fine tuning and, you know, none of them things. Just want to get it cut out. Can always fine tune anything later on if needs be. Right, that's so all. I'll do that. Now we have the clocks. So we'll come in. We'll put one of the boot at the clocks. One right there, so. Right. Can make one right there, so. Just make the clocks heal, kind of stand off a little bit like that. Then we can go back to the normal, you know, normal thing. Right, that's so. We can do that. Boom. Catch the front right now. Put one up here, so get to that that piece there to the front, right there. So bring that in, bring that out. Can use this with kind of brown it off, you know what I mean? So, yeah, all right. Now, if we do the lace, kind of freestyle it. Not really recommended, but hey. Get a little cliff here, and then I'm gonna do the same thing like I do. With the other piece, select that. As you can see, just make one crazy selection for no reason. There we go. Right click, make selection. Switch to the brush tool with B, and now we can just paint off the whole line background. Sorry, you know I go on, brother. Oh, <laughs> yeah, what go on the occasion? What thing? What thing? What thing? Yeah, man. Um, me um, I finish off a thing. Yeah, yeah, G. We find two all of them fuck yeah. Look at edges and them thing there. Now, second, I go back to the pins or brush. So for the belt, because it's kind of square, I'll just put on a little point here, so. Come across here, so. Make it look a bit round. Do the same thing here, so again. When I really need to get in, in the right here, so yet. Can get that later. I'll do the points. Oh. So reach down the clocks again. As you can see, we have the lace right there. So, all right. We don't really need. So let's make a um, selection again. Zoom in, make sure so we get the exact point right there. So, boom. Right click, make selection. Press OK. Turn this into the brush again. And when we zoom in, can get rid of all of that. So slowly, you know what I mean? We are 
that I get there. Uh, of course, we can be more precise, but right now, if me do this the most precise, we can do it. Mother day, I cut this out for you all. I'm not really the one to do that right now. We can always fine tune, like me say. Lay a mass, I think, where you can transform over time. So, yeah, let's do this. I have to be careful, right? I said, because I'm ready, I'm bridging. The back I'm right there, so. So, you know, I'm kind of capturing on a theme thing in it. You know, so, I'm kind of be careful. Alright, so I want to do the piece here, so I come out. Same thing right there, so. Yeah, but I forgot to figure out what to do with them watermark here, what they have on the picture, but ways around that still, so I'm not going to really stress it. Yeah, man, decoration. We do everything, bro. Cover, ready, mix, master. <laughs> yeah, that be it. The only thing I wouldn't want to do <laughs> video edit. <laughs> but I do edit my own video them still. <laughs> but video editing on a professional level. I don't want to do that, brother. Too much blood clot time, my good. And I'm really in that at all. The cover them, I do. Just, just out of fun, you know, just out of a happy thing. Fortunately, I get paid for them, you know, that's what I'm saying about. It's just a, it's a thing I start out as a hobby, just like music. I used to DJ when I did younger, but you know, as I grow, I grow more into the production side of it, low artistry, you understand? So, mix selection, okay, cool. So, brush. Yeah, so let me say, the thing named Solo, the cover named Solo. So, now that we have him cut out, we can kind of start paint a picture around him. him are the, the subject, all right, you know what I mean? So, yes, I will start for those that never know. Huh? So, that's how we end up. So, yeah, man. So, let's make a duplicate. Uh, turn it off and make sure we say we just, um, just have it turned off. So, that's a duplicate. Um, put it in a full hour, call it back up. Just in case me ever, you know, do nothing or anything about me. So, yeah, let me say, we want him be the focal point, right? So, basically, we need to. Make him center stage, something like that. You know what I mean? And me want the whole idea around him basically if it be that him kinda I'ma show you the idea I'm gonna go for, right? And how I'm gonna try to pull it off. So we have this little brush and now we have the spotlight, right? So the song name solo, right? So what I want to do is kind of do one of them, you know, on a stage the mallets do the like the opera thing where the light kind of a shine down when I change the arm, um, change the lens. So kind of something like that, you understand? You know, him in a dark room or whatever and just him be in the center of attention, basically. That's the idea what I'm going to go for. So I kind of have to build up the layer of them to kind of show that off, you know? So basically when I'm done, it don't look like this, but just much more cleaner, you understand what I'm saying? So, let's start, um, fill out the background. So, we don't start with a, um, with a black background. We don't go up on blending options and then we don't put a gradient on it. We want something kind of along the lines of, um, like a darkish, purplish type of thing We kind of got to black. So, I will just take a basic background like this. We'll change the white and at the bottom here. So, we'll change that to black. So I'll click on the color, we don't change this to black. Okay. Then right up at the top, we don't make this fade out from like a gray, like a dark gray type of thing. Very dark gray, don't want it, almost black. All right, something like that, cool. Boom. Now around him, I'm not sure if I want to put him on a stage, put him on like a road or put him on like a little island or something. I figure I said the stage are probably going to be the, like the, the best thing for do still. Um, so let's um, go to Google right? and we'll type in stage empty HD. Right? So we just want some HD empty stage we can use. Google your best friend when you look for image. Your best friend when you look for image. My mama tell you that. So we want something more kind of suit the idea I'm going go for. This is close to it, right here. Yeah, this is definitely close to it. So what we can do is, 
can go right click save image as, as and, and for right now we'll just save, save it um right there so we can now drag it in in um photoshop make it bigger so uh, the first thing we'll do is we'll make sure we line it up right you understand so what we'll do is we'll line it up Put, make sure you set behind him, make sure you set foot them kind of, you know, in the center attention basically. Yeah, this line at the bottom of my foot right there. So I'm going to use the brush tool and get rid of right down here. So the little, you know, see it right there. So the little horizontal line there. So I'll switch this back to the hard brush. I'll make it smaller so it comes on the screen. And we'll all just go straight across, left and right, and get rid of all of that. Cool. So yeah, so even though we have the, the light underneath him foot, Right, just to kind of paint this, I just use it as a reference, right? So I just want it did as a reference, you know what I mean? What we can do to make it kind of fit the, the image more is we can change the perspective, right? So if me, the drag, you can say, make it more flat, like I said, you know, him, him actually stand up in another spot there, you know, by, by changing the perspective, right? So I want this to be kind of more like that, press that, boom. Now we'll get a stage, actual like wooden stage or something. Cause we need something for underneath him foot. Um, what is right there, so that's cool, but it's too small. So if needs be, we can make one. But right now we want to use something. All right, so this wooden thing right here will work. So just right click save, drag that in. I would have put that on them foot as well. We'll put that underneath the, the glow, right? So what I'm going to do if you kind of get the, the glow to go away is that we can, first we can lower the opacity, but what I'm going to do is I'll just use a layer mask the same way like I'm going to do with the, um, with the other thing. I would have just turn this up like that. And what we can do is make it soft around the edge them. You know what I mean? So now we can lower the opacity, we can put this probably like 50% or so. Something very light, you understand what I'm saying? If you look on them shoes, you can see it kind of like a glue, um, like a, not a glue, like a bluish, purplish type of flavor to it. So we'll lift that there. So let's um zoom out. Cool. Put in more across. Let's move both of them here. Yeah. Right. So upon the, the glue, let's take out the little behind him foot thing. Cool. On the stage now, we'll do the same thing. Layer mask again. We'll get rid of all of the shit underneath. We want the stage kind of fade out to a black, like a dark background, right? Cause like I said, him are the, 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 the center of attention. Not really nothing else. So, what we can do is take all of them. Control and T. And we can either make them bigger. Like that. Cool. Perfect. So, um, select this and this. Move him a little bit over. Cool. That's nice. All right. So, upon the stage now, what we can do if we kind of make it fade into the darkness is we can add a layer above and then hold on upon Alt and lock it. So, now what I'm going to do is if I paint over, um, if I paint over the, um, this is the stage, right? Yeah. So, if I paint over the stage, I'm going to apply a layer mask. Rasterize first. Hold on. Rasterize file, rasterize, yeah, and then apply layer mass, yeah. So now if me paint over the wood, upon the arm, upon the arm, let's change this to black. As you can see, it only a paint over a certain area, basically. So what we can do is we can use that with like a lower opacity. So let's sell it by 20 and add like a nice like a, um a nice like a shade over the wood or a nice like a dark tone. So you know, fully black, but you know, you can know say I would him stand up one, but it can be darker. Cool. So you can group all of them things together, except him. We don't left him by himself without group all of them. I uh, will call this background. Bravo, go on, brother. 
go and stumble the water market. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Go get rid of that, man. You know, we have the tools. You know where I talk about, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah man, that one day I go long, bro. That one day I go long, brother. <laughs> yeah, so um now that we have that, right? What we can do is kind of build the foreground, so the in front time, right? So we have a folder where we have smoke, you know. So let's go in at that. And um let's drag in some smoke kinda um let me say the in front time type of thing. I'll change the blend mode to screen that they'll get rid of all of the block you know what i mean but what i do do is with all kind of rotate this one push this off to the side the smoke i'm gonna put in front time control and j t i'll push all them things off to the side the smoke i'm gonna put in front time is more of a direct smoke or kind of go up in at the ear you understand what i'm saying right there so so we don't do that we don't press screen and all we can do, basically, is over the top of everything, right? This one on this blue. Let's change this from blue. We'll change that to something more, more practical. So let's get a different. Yeah, let's get a different smoke. We do that. Oh, wait there. I'm gonna try to find the other one. I'm gonna have. Smoke, smoke, smoke. Smoke. I this. I'm not think I this. No, sir. This other one I'm going to just add. All right, so what we can do is we can, yeah, just do. Change this to screen. Take the brush. Put a layer mask on this. And get rid of all of the stuff on the outside of me. Because I really want this part I have to kind of really focus on him. So I can just use the um, layer mask to get rid of all of the shit I'm going to want. And then if you duplicate it, press control and T we can kind of you know what I mean pretty much do whatever we want with it so we want this uh, smoke right in front time if it really so prevalent so let's um, change this to 65 alright cool No, under him foot for kind of before we get carried away we'll put one layer under him foot right and what we do do is we'll basically we'll take him right Control J without duplicate him, press Control and T, then without flip it vertical. Alright, so now we have him line up like that, right? So let's um, make sure everything line up. It's a little bit smaller. Make sure everything line up. Zoom in. I don't need to make sure say everything will line up. Yeah. So like that, don't we'll put this one underneath, right? The rasterize the layer here too. Then we we'll do apply the layer mask. Then what we we'll do is we we'll press Control and click on this, and then Alt and Backspace turn it fully black. Control and D if you deselect it, and basically we have them shadow. So we need to move it a little bit so it not really they stick off like that. And um, also can you know that we have that is we can. Take this image here, rename it, matter of fuck, shadow. And what we can do is go filter, blur, motion blur, and basically tweak it to me like it, right? Cool, press OK. Can also basically you know, move the image, like me say, we want it line right up with them shows. If you now do that, what we can do then is basically take the brush tool, use the, um, what I want, want to call it, you know, the layer mask thing again, and kind of clean off all of the edge them. Because you know, when I shot I'm going to show behind him shoes, you understand what I'm saying? And then basically, we'll drop this to about 5%. And what I'm going to do is we'll use it for kind of lighten up him shadow a little bit more towards the, towards the bottom. Why? You know, kind of make it come through the, the, the smoke a little bit. You know what I mean? Basically, so now we kind of get the illusion and say, yeah, him turn up on the stage. You know what I mean? Cool. So let's kind of clean off, edge them a little bit. All right, yeah. Yeah. More like it. Perfect. So now, 
we have that we can kind of put him in our own group you know so they'll just group him and say yo sliver boom also can know i believe we can change the color so i'll put that i'll make that yellow so i know say well when i make that yellow i'll make him yellow so i know say that to him right cool so you know slowly but surely everything kind of you know it'll come together like me say we want the um spotlight for really kind of depend on him so we will go up here so now we will group up them now no so this are the smoke cool and in the background that I'm not sure you want to add in the um in the background I'm not sure if I want to like a like a screen or I just want more add something. I don't feel like I need to add nothing still. More, this are the kind of the look I go for. We have the you know like a sparkles and all them things there. So I don't really think I need to add nothing like that. So we don't go to the background layer, we don't go above it and we don't put one layer. I'll go back in the brush, we don't go down to the spotlight brush them. Or the light, what you want to what they want to call it. They call it light something, I remember. And Make sure I set this step on white, you know, and we'll start adding a little light source, right? We'll add one from the left, and we'll add one from the right. So, of that, that. And because we add them on the same layer, right? What we can do is we can actually put them above him, but we're not going to do that still. We'll keep this a layer underneath so they'll put um or name this white light cool and if you look upon him you see same him kind of show like a, a purple or whatever the fuck when they're on the stage at the time so we don't kind of match that up right so that's the white light so they'll go above him you know we don't change the brush to something a little bit more um more um what would i say um wider no that's what that look like no, that no too aggressive. Let's try this. Yeah. And we don't make sure so everything line up. Same way. So now above him, what we don't do forget the color. We don't write um we'll land point alt and sample the color when I'm here. So now what we can do is simply click the little spot them you know and I mean just like that, right? Right click. Put this over here so the same thing you know just get the color of them and i want it sure purple like that and i want it fully purple you know just want to get the the um the image you know the background and all of that a bill from the back going forward so we will call this purple light cool let's see if this before me forget Sliver. Solo. Cool. Then from the, the light coming from the top down. All right. We don't rotate this. Yeah, so the light coming from the top down. We don't make that as you know, as big as we possibly can make it. And we don't also put that on its own thing so we can um manipulate it how we want. And we don't make this a light yeah. basically overlap him. You know what I mean? As you can see how it is going. You know what we don't do? We kind of blend everything together. Right? We don't go behind him. Or add a layer. We don't call it sparkles. Right click, we'll go down to the sparkle brush them. Or particle brush, whatever the fuck it want him. Right there so. And literally what we do do, we do click on one of them now. And what we do is we'll make it big. Very fucking big at that. And just press one time. What the fuck we need to make them a white, so we'll press D for reset the colour. X for change it to white. Hold on, brush tool. X to change it to white and we'll press once. Right? And you can see the little um dust particles them back here so cool. 
to next or we'll go to another one and what we can do literally is increase the opacity now i mean you can see exactly what i go on so let's make this massive again and like me say all of this are just background shit all right so this layer here, which i swear me just named sparkles what we can do is just lower the opacity and get it more in the background you know what i mean as not as you know important to go on the front cool then as far as him though let's change this from this brush let's go back to this light brush no actually more we'll use this brush like i wanna what is <laughs> no i wanna like that so this and what we can do now and this is what i like about photoshop so remember how oh, we have him right there. So what we can do is right above him image itself, put a layer. Lock it, or just create a clipping mask basically. And then use any brush. We we'll use um we don't use this brush, but we can use any brush. And what we do do is basically look on the direction where the light I come from. And now we don't make what we call a highlight layer, right? Meaning that we don't sample the purple again. Sample the purple around and somebody get it. Yeah. So now what we can do is literally over him, close over him himself. We can just simply go and add the light. You know what I mean? And this is kind of which part we want, like the brightest of the purple for the come from, right? So let's add another layer over the top. I'm um, some want it come from this account around here, so no want it so firm still. Let's um rotate this a little bit. So yeah, I want the light to come from that direction, yeah. You know what I'm saying? You know, but of course, now I want it that purple. So deselect. We don't want it white. And the reason we don't want it like that because we don't like the brush, right? So, we go in a, um, um, oh my God, a this, no. What a folder name, man, a miscellaneous, no. I have a folder with, um, damn textures with exactly what I want. And I can't remember what the fuck it there had, had a vignette, even though there had a vignette. So basically a vignette is just for kind of darken up all of the edges, kind of, you know, make the um, control and uh, J, you know, kind of basically bring the focus in upon one part of the, of, the, um, of the frame. So, over the vignette, which we need for the above everything pretty much, I actually can just the above, above the background. Like that. No, we need it above the smoke. Cool. Let's close up the full layer. Control G. Light sparkle. Cool. I'll do. Purple light. Control G. Save. All right, so now we need to figure the light on the top. You know what I mean? We need to make the light there come down in a nice, creative way. All right. I'll put this at 40%. Right, basically. So what I'm wanna do is that between all of them light rays, I'm gonna really want it to show the ray that um 
like some layer up multiple different, you know what I mean? Where one name upon them want it, just show one big, you know what I mean? One big light. So we'll make this as big as we can get it, which I think that are the biggest we can go with it. And what we do do is we don't make two of them, right? So we don't make one here, so and we don't make one here, so cool. So now we'll make, hold on, shit. We'll make one there, so we don't make a new layer. We don't make another one right there, so. So what we can do between the two layers is we can use layer mask for kind of feed in between the two lights and make it seem as if a one big spotlight. You know what I mean? So let's do this. Let's make sure so we small up this. Uh, we don't need it for that big. And what we do is we'll lift the, we'll bring the opacity down to about 20% so it don't really do it drastic. If I have it up a 100, this is what I got to do. I don't want to do that. Right? So let's turn off the the second one and what we do do is on the edges right we do um make this look a bit bigger on the edges we do kind of clean up this which is still there 100 sorry about that so put this uh, about 20 yeah and on the edges we know we do um no we don't need this full screen yeah we gotta just clean up clean up the edge make sure say it fade basically so now I'm turn on but the other one and do the same thing you know what I mean see more as if I just one one thing and the thing is that I just kind of you know I'm gonna say fool around with it till I get it exactly the um the way I want it so I'll lower the opacity to 10% and you now not 1% 10 we do 5 fuck it and um it's a little bit smaller so now we can kind of fill out back the space if we switch this just make sure we say them now really dominate one and dominate the other more and it seems more as if I just one light source you understand what I'm say so right now we look on it I can see see two different light source so let's press X again try to fix fix that little bit more like it what we can also do now is switch back to the brush from we use do it we'll go up on another layer again and what we can do is with the brush at five percent just slowly you know what i mean slowly just fill in slowly fill them in still i see of them look a bit more and that other one so we need to go back to this and stay at five percent all right see eh? look a bit more uniform you know switch around boom all right cool so upon him himself one thing I'm like though is a thing I'm call highlight, which I don't really like me like though. Everybody like do it. So I'll go control G group up this and this at a spotlight. So I think what I'm like though is when him himself I'm gonna do is without add one layer above him. But I'll add it above the layer already and we'll link it same way. So it's a um um a clipping mask basically. And with the same brush, the soft brush, we do um do will get use the white light and we don't make um this thing what we call um a highlight upon him so basically because the light is shining upon him from one direction right certain parts of him are basically kind of the glow so like let me say we'll fine tune him here in a second so what we can do is switch this to 100 and then right off of the edge of him himself we can basically just you know Use the light and kind of fill out the edges, right? And due to the fact that I have it on a, on a soft brush, it now just do some hard straight line. It do some soft lines, right? And it's really dependent upon how far I want to go with it, right? So basically, looking upon it now with and without, and it kind of just assures the light basically a reflect. Alright, I get blocked out in a some way, you understand? 
We don't need to have it all the way up at 100%. We can, you know, all we say. We can lower it down, typically like around 60%. And then with the, um, the same glow brush, at like probably like 10 or 20%, on the same layer, we don't go. I'll do this one, make this clip or put it underneath. What we can do now is basically kind of, you know, put the, the white more the white for him know what I mean cool control zero save so now we need some curtain what I say <laughs> yeah I'm your introvert yeah man we teach it myself bro um, the live are real rhythm them other than much. <laughs> <My thing. laughs> yeah, man, just there like me see some unreleased thing in you know, a bro. Can probably can't turn up the volume like a bit still in the brother. Can't hear what going. Just let me know if, if you know I struggle for ear me over the rhythm or not like that, you know. I mean I mean turn it down. I do like 50%. Mm -hmm. Yeah man, some unreleased gems, you know. Cool, so we have all of that, nice. What else my thing for, I don't know. Um, hmm. We have the purple, we have the little stars, all right. So, we have all of that, I'm gonna try to think. I'm gonna probably either want to add like what some curtains are. Hmm. Not sure. No, no, I think a moon, I think a moon would have fit. Mm, I don't know. Mm. 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 So what we can do? Let's go put the vignette in our folder. I go vignette. All right, let's zip that up. Save it, of course. Let's go through some of the um, some things I'm probably gonna add. Um, I'm gonna go dust particles, dust particles, dust particles. Where the dust particles? Dust, right? That's so. I hit this. Ah, oh, this one I hit. Um, No, I think a particle is me in the I think I want them. Ah, oh, yeah. Add this over the top. Cool. Then rotate it like that. Press enter. Put it under the spotlight, but over top of everything else. And we'll change the blending mode to screen. That dog get rid of all of the black. No one me can know. It's basically yeah. well, I'm mean, gonna like it up on top of everything like that. I'm kind of like it. More of a background thing. Let's turn it down and see how I go on. Yeah, I like it more of a background thing. So let's get the brush tool. Let's get the soft brush. With that 10%, need to push this up to 100. I need to take out some of these when I really need. Too much I want more right up in the yes, so kind of create like a you know nicer um background, more tone background. So that's cool. Up at the top. Because it's a somebody where my bill a cover for be, um, before. What we can do is got Photoshop assets and just type in name DreamX. Alright, so just do a cover your theme other day. So what we can use this for is what the fuck? Alright, uh, yeah, so I'm gonna do, do this film the other day. Um, I'm gonna think of that one there. Yeah, uh, this is the one I'm gonna look for. So, what I can do is basically now take the text. So, I'm gonna grab the logo, grab the text, and we'll drag this over. Yeah, so, Control and T. I'm really just need to line up part of the text today. Let's put all of this up on the top above everything. Text always go above everything. 
Um, I don't need the um, I don't need the um, the name text like they like it like that. I don't need that. Can get rid of all of this. I just need the the Dreamix Productions, which would go at the top. So let's press Control and T. Bring that up like that. Cool. Um, we can put a drop shadow behind it. Make it stand out a little bit. Like that. Actually, can make it a little bit bigger. Let's change the size from wait. Think it there eight or nine. Yeah, we can change that up to like probably twelve, something like that. And we can change the text from that to the most popular one, which is agency. This other one that most people use. When I use another one, I'm like called Bank Gothic. And this is basically the, the, the one where you sip on every cover. <laughs> so, um, yeah, we'll make this box small up. It's like 10. I really need it for the take up too much of the space. Eight. All right, cool. Long as it's readable, long as I can read it, you know, we really need to kind of exaggerate on it, right? Yeah, man, brother, I tell you, brother, I well, you can use it, you know, bro. I tell you, if you can use a phone and do it, you do it, I mean, because I know a nigga do animation, brother, off him phone, tablet, computer, it really matter what the fuck you game, him can do it. I swear, this shit crazy, that blow my mind when I see it. I swear, brother. So, I'll put DreamX right there, so. What I like for do with the logos, I like for put it straight in the corner and then hold on on control and use up and right on the keyboard and move it as fast as possible if you get it out of the, the corner like that. You know what I mean? As long as it not, nah, you know, overshadow what I go on, you can read it, see a DreamX production, but you not take away from what I go on from the image itself, then I know say everything I go good. You know what I mean? So, we have all of that. I still want to do something with the fucking, with the curtain that I tell them I don't know why it is, but I want to do something. Let's um, go back in a Google. Yeah, I mean, I use Final Cut in a yes. I never use Final Cut ever. Never ever. Um, so, what me there you now? Um, what me I look for? Me I look for? Me I look for? I look for a curtain. No, oh, the cartoon. This is cool, but when I think it's gonna fit on my bag one, this is a JPEG anyway. Yeah, that's not a PNG, that's a cartoon. Um, that's not a PNG. That's a PNG, but it's not. So hold on, let's just save image as. Let me see something. See something, not a PNG file. <laughs> so it's got showing folder. I have a image converter. I'm going to use um, convert it. So it's converted it to a PNG like that. Close. So now if we can find it, think like this. Yeah. Now we have it. I only really want one side of it. So and push this up in the air. Use the layer mask thing again. I'll take it out of the logo folder. And change the color on this to blue or green. It really matter. And what I'll do is I'll use one thing named background eraser. And any color I click on, it's going to get rid of it. Right? So I click on um, hold on now. Magic eraser. Magic eraser, not background. So I click on the red, you get rid of anything or link to the red, right? So, I want to get rid of the white. Get rid of the white. So now, what we can do is, I want the curtain. Yeah, that now we might have to cut out a curtain out or something else. Yeah, I think we'll find one in there, so I'm like, um, but, um, pro, like a, you know, quality from a quality standpoint, I don't think we'll find nothing there. So, so what we can do is probably just stage HD again and get 
a curtain half an actual stage. Or I mean, you know, probably can left him as is, you know, I'm not sure. So let's, uh, let's see. I think, think what we can do with this is we can use this as background. So, so drop this in. I wanna need all light, but just need like the lights up at the top. So that's all I'm gonna grab. We can put this underneath all of the spotlight, the vignette, the smoke, and all of that shit. And what I'm gonna do, we need to make sure I set the behind him as well. Right, and then basically use the um, layer mask with the brush. Kind of blend it with the background. Can remember, a few things we already have are, are the, the important shit. This is shit I just for sure. So now that I have that a certain way, we'll put this at 20%, and we'll still stay at 2%. Let's go 10% then. I would we'll still use this to kind of basically push this more and more into the background. Because I know that important. Him are the subject. Him are what we want to focus on. You know, everything else for the compliment. Him. So now that we have that, um can put what is that? Okay, so we're gonna put stage background. Or just backstage. Or back off of stage. Cool. Save? Always save. <laughs> one said the money is a whole production house. <laughs> Yeah, one idea, you know. Alright, so this clone stamp tool right I say is very, very good for, for shit like what I'm gonna do. <clears throat> it's been a while. Oh my god, it's been a while since I use it. So I am um, if me no mistake, what we can do is we can sample a spot and then we could not use clone stamp because the source is in a group. Alright, 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 sliver. Yeah, so we got yes. So, so what we can do is we can sample a spot. If me na make a mistake, let's <clears throat> Let's take them three things out of the group for right now. And what we do do is we do some of the bomber ass cloth. What do you mean? Because it's in a group, dog. Come on, what the fuck, dog? Dog. Because the source is in a group. But what the fuck is the group, bro? Turn off the mouse. Actually, unlink all of them. Let's see, I know. Watch out. No color. Same thing. This is um, in a sense, bro. Oh my god. Could not use the clone stamp because this thing is in a group. Right click. Let's rasterize this. I see. Nope. Right click, apply layer mask. Could not use because it's in a group. What the fuck is the group, nigga? This shit crazy, bro. But I love to know what group it is, Nana. Let me um, delete that folder. Yeah. <laughs> In Photoshop, this I try to piss me off. Think Photoshop, this I piss me off. So let's save this. Let's close this. And then we hurry up back Photoshop. Or not Photoshop, but the image. Can I understand how make we can use the clone stamp? Here's an area. Could not use because there is no era to clone. What do you mean no era to clone? Oh, I'll click to define it. Yeah, it's been a while since we use this thing. So what I'm gonna do is we don't use this and kinda um get rid of all of the um 
the, the fuckery. Watermark. Right. Zoom out. No, slowly I get rid of it, you know what I mean? So, yeah, Mr. Photoshop is a tedious thing. I wouldn't want to do this professionally, you know? So, basically, you just take a sample by holding Alt and then use that sample to replace the stuff where I try to fix. Right? And it now have to be perfect. At the end of the day, it's not the most high quality picture to begin with you know uh, that me I work on it just needs to be that when me zoom out when I see it you know what I mean Fix up this. Uh. Yep, much better. Same thing with this other piece, right? Also, huh? Right, that's all we can finish off that and cool. Sheets, yeah. And yeah, it looked like that because we have to relink everything. Cool. Now we can regroup everything. Control G, sliver. Have the logo good, dream mix up at the top good. So now what we really need to do is add um the text for him song name. Font. Why are you sitting new? So I got the font. And just browse the home page and so I have a, a new one there. So I probably would have fit. I'm not sure about the skate brand thing. Could work. Um, Let me try to skate, bro. Let's just download it. Fuck it. Um, install. This is one I think I'm going to like about Photoshop. When I install a font, no delay. Immediate. You understand? You don't have to go look for nothing. FL Blood Clutch Studio. What name? Skate? Something? Skate, bro. Yeah. Make this a 100. I know they bring in the 2000 to zero. Right, so the same name. Oh shit, that's a name name, that are the blood clot. What the text there? Alright, so we need to put the text on the top above everything. Above the logo. Yeah. 
So I'll put him name right there, so. So, sliver. Right click, blending options. Logo drop shadow. Make sure you see what I do. Logo normal. Logo change the distance. Bring it out a little bit more. Or put the angle of 40 like that. We need to add some more stuff though still. In a shadow, we'll bring that distance out as well. Increase the opacity. Increase the size. Bring back the distance a little bit. Let's bring back this. Yeah, more like it. On the drop shadow, we we'll change the size, make that a little bit bigger. And bring that back. And bring down the opacity on it. Might change that still though. And what may I think for the um what may I think for the for the S for the solo may I think for the something super big. So like let's say 500. Matter of fact, I'm find a text on my life first. So let's write out the words solo and go through some of them funds. Yeah. Find something I'm like first. For my worry about what I'm gonna make it um do. I'm on the S kind of wrap around him. Think this I probably will do the open sense you now. The B bus. So basically what I mean is like if I take the S away from this and just do one big fucking thing like this. PS. Let's change this up to like 500. Basically, use the S as like a like a oak, and I mean, all oh, could I do that is take him or the image of him, left click on it like that. What I'm gonna deselect first. So I'll take the S, I'll put a blending um, layer mask on it, or I'll go back to him or highlight him. So basically, anyway, the S, the overlapping body, all I can do is take that way, right? So if we go and press the brush tool and we'll make sure so they are 100 now they are 10% 100 we can use the brush and take him away you know anyway the S the overlap in body basically but we only don't make it do one foot right this select let's take this solar thing here oh shit and take um, the holo and move that. I'll make it now and move the fucking. Let's put this above. Yeah. Huh. Okay, I could have swear. I'm never need an hour or something. Hold on. Oh, there is no one. Alright, cool. So, basically, you know what I mean? Yeah, the only thing we can do also is take the same holo duplicate it and just change the text to him name and bring that up kind of kill two birds with one stone you know what I mean can do text can make this smaller probably about 100 not 100 about um 70. You know what I mean? Kind of line up everything. Can delete this. You know what I'm going to say? And all at the same time, we can give the S a shadow. See him just like our him a shadow. You know what I mean? Just not as, um, as drastic. So let's go to the S. Let's um, duplicate it. Control J. We'll take the copy, we'll rasterize it, we'll apply the layer mask, we'll control T, we'll flip it vertical, and we'll drag it, you know, basically just put it right at the, at the foot of the other one, press enter, select the text, alt and backspace, make it fully black, right, do the same exact thing, we'll go blur, motion blur, press OK.
press enter, let's deselect this one on there. Hold on, I'm going to deselect what bomb. Uh, press enter, deselect. Yeah, the merge motion blur now works, so let's um, put up on the wrong one, I think. Yeah, go filter, blur, motion blur. Yeah, see, then we'll kind of make this one a little bit more hectic, like more crazy. You know, press OK. Um, put a layer mask on it. Get the same brush again. Need to put on the brush tool first. We'll drop the opacity from 30 to 15. And we'll just slowly take away from, you know, I'm not saying no, no. Oh, go on. Hold on. Oh, I'm going to keep on and this bumbo cloth other one. Dog. Yeah, so I'll slowly just, you know, get rid of that, you know. I'll left one a little piece of it. I'll put it underneath, though. So it now, let's see what it look like. Yeah, so we have a little shadow for the S. You understand what I'm saying? Make it look like I said actually did it instead of just sitting all prop up. I mean. So upon him now, if you kind of continue with the shadow, idea on him we don't put one right there so and we don't shut up him him shoes right so we don't make this small and what we don't do is we don't just paint in black on him shoes I would still have to make it seem as if like you know him stand up on the ground right so Right at the heel and shoes, you need to make all of that black. Not major, but definitely something that go a long way, you know what I mean? So, make it seem as if you actually stand up on the ground. And what I also do, do is with our, um, with our, um, what do you call it? And then foot, we do put another layer, and there's a shadow as well. But this one is going to be like 100% opacity so they'll fully it'll bright like that and we don't do that for the closest spot them to him shoes and basically what that they'll do is you know when i look on a shadow like the the nearer the shadow is to the object the darker it is so that's a basically what i'm gonna do right now with um with this abrasion so we'll just uh, do that right underneath him shoes i'm not worried about no spill or not like that any little bleed can get rid of you know, with a layer mask, you know what I mean? Cool. So now, let me say we can get that any little bleed with a layer mask, so we don't do that. So let's switch this to the soft brush, we'll go up, make it bigger, of course. Always make it bigger when you delete shit. We'll switch this back to 20%. So I'm we'll gonna start clean up from the edge. You know what I mean? And come in under the shoes. That's cool. Same thing over here. So come in under the shoes. Nice. So we have that. What I also do is on the stage itself. We'll put one layer, a shadow. So I've got stage shadow. And when I put it in the folder, we'll put it right on top. And this is basically just one thin layer block about 15% opacity and we'll sweep across a couple of times I go across the stage left and right basically just a dark up the stage look I still want the wood for kind of show so yeah I'm stand up on something yeah so you still see that you know but I want the illusion of um something else did it um yeah brother me installing myself um me get them off of, um me get the the brush them off of one website named DeviantArt um, you know when I had nothing in the bro. And or you just go up on Deviant Art and search um Photoshop brushes. And then pop up by the millions. And I mean a good way I know me to come by so see one has to say glimmer and it's sure you what them do you understand me I say so yeah man deviant art is the place to be and it's free you know after the shit you can just come by and download them but yeah man I hear some get them and we get some of them off of YouTube and you know all over the place but yeah man definitely bro deviant art is the place to be when you want any type of 
royalty free artwork and shit you can get it off of you so you can get some things where you can buy off of you so too but um anytime i look for anything i can't find in a google 90 percent of the time i in here so come let's minimize that so we have all of that cool um so outside of that the only other thing i really want to do before we start fine tune up everything um what we have here so we have the text here yeah, so we can put all of this in the text folder cool right uh, right click on this it's violet just to show say yeah so the only time i make something a different color is when it's very important if i did just some any anything man i wouldn't trouble it so we have the sliver we have the solar um what else we could I do Hmm. One more hand do anyway is more I'm put a I'm put a um, put a nice little um overlay over everything and I try to find it one grunge texture that them call it grunge texture. So let's find that. Let's um what do I know me I look for? Grunge texture, grunge texture, which part is there? I think I like this. No, not that. Hold on, come here half time. Half time, I see it. See it, right there, so. Make this look a bit wider. Wait there, this. Yeah, so what do I do? Take it, put it over the whole picture, of course, over everything. But under the, no, over yeah, under the logo, but over everything else. And we do um well I just break up sitting it look like um oh god what I'm gonna Hold on. Okay. Yeah and then oh okay so yeah it under the text that's why that's why I wonder what the fuck I go on. Yeah so um yeah no what I'm gonna do is I'll change the blend mode from normal into screen and it give it that then one more to point up of that is without take the opacity and without drop it down to like 10%. So it's very faint and it only depends on like the sides. Then without turn, I'll, I'll lay a mask on top of it. I will make sure it's this there 100%. And without get rid of everything out of the center. So it's really just for the sides, you know what I mean? Just only for the sides. And what I do, do lastly is I do kind of make this look like it's a, like a magazine cover. Cool. So it's just very faint, but it's out on the sides. And then above that, what I'll put this thing I'll call a black paper texture. Which literally had a name for. B B B B B B. Come on. Black paper textures. Right or so. Can I get like this um magazine type of feel? Would I'll stretch that out? When I need for um resize it, definitely need for rotate it though. Um like this in itself is a tough cover. <laughs> like literally bro like this shit crazy <laughs> uh, and what we'll do is we'll change the blending mode to screen so now it there above everything and it kind of give this paper feeling you understand what I'm mean? saying so let's bring the opacity back to about 75% then the last thing I typically like for do is it's a shortcut so control alt shift e and basically what i do is you take the whole entire image and combine it in a one simple photo right so what we do now is hold on there so what we do now is that we don't take this and we don't do like all of my final adjustments right so before we do that though we have some other little things i want just so let's bring this down to like 10 it up a little bit i really want it too dominant i also want it a little bit more over to the side you know what i mean Rotate back a little bit hold on one second
take a call. Sorry about that. Yeah, so let me say, one of certain little things before we really get into, um, get into like fully, fully fine tuning with plugins and everything. Yes, Photoshop use plugins as well. So we'll go, um, vibrance. I know what kind of use vibrance to bring out all of the colors, right? So if we increase the vibrance, you will see, we increase the color. Cool. Take it away. Take away the color. Cool. So I don't want to go too crazy with it, you know. Just want to do a little bit. Saturation is also important. As I can see, it makes it what it is. Like we can make it black and white or we can make it too bright. So I'll put the saturation probably about four or so. Vibrance can lift up at 14. And if we now just flip between, we can see it's very minor. But if you look on him close, you can notice that the blue when I'm close, I come up. You know, get a little bit more firm. You know what I mean? So we can push the vibrance probably a little bit harder. So let's put that um 20. You know, so that's cool. <clears throat> that's one so go back and I saw again we have a thing we will call name levels right and what this do is basically kind of do a vibrant stuff but it do it in a much different way you understand and it's something you kind of have to really be careful with because what, what I don't do in at the end when I, when I start like fine tune everything without brighten out the image we don't really need the image for as bright right now you understand so what I do is with a lower Kind of the tone of the image a little bit. Kind of make it lean more towards like a darker, a darker tone. And um where the um where the where the um the black paper thing. Yeah, may I get a different idea of what to do with this black paper thing. So instead of doing it like how I have it, what I'm do is just do this. And kind of use line them in a, in a more of a graphic, you know, graphic way. So something like that, kind of like that. And you know, I'm kind of like that a little bit more. Cool. So now we have that. We have all the really little adjustments to all them things they done. You have another thing I'm going to do in them curves. But I don't really feel like it need it. You know, like me say, me can sit on your sand, do all of them things the whole day. And you know what I mean? And never get no way because there's a lot of shit that we can do. So we're not really too stress it. So we'll go control shift alt E. Make one simple little layer like that. We don't go filter. We don't go topaz labs. We don't go um clarity first. And know detail. I know what this, like I said, this is a plugin. So what this I gotta know is it it's gonna help me bring cross or bring out the details in the um bring all the details in you know, the image you know the little lines and the little sharp things the man all of them thing there the shadows and all them thing there one of my favorite preset is this cloud preset but it depends upon the image where you use it upon as i can see no why do is it just blur up most of the picture you understand what i say so that's a no no let's um let's put this in a fit what the fuck that Make it no one fit. Kind of fuck with that dog. That's so weak. So we need to find something where kind of bring out, you know, the the details in the image. And of course, we can tweak the slider. Them and I really feel like tweak the slider right now. So I just need something I can bring out the um the detail in the image without bringing out too much of the um too much of the fuck I right? feel like this is kind of represent that say it kind of tone down the light like that alright so all we can do is press apply and we do that it process the photo but one thing I like about that and one advantage what that give me I know is that so I'm done what I go on where I got one advantage right give me like me say when we press process or whatever I apply it you know notice it change the image but what it give me is it give me the option now because I have one solid photo we can kind of blend that the process image there with the image what we have before and that can create a nice like a contrast you understand what I say so we'll do 50 percent cool now we can turn this off then what we don't do you know is we don't do control shift alt e again this one that will go on top of this one, I will turn off the one that I will just do. I will go filter, I will go adjust. 
coat. No, this thing's supposed to fucking do. Fit, I don't know what make it now and do the thing the right way, dog. What the fuck is this? Oh, so basically this has shown me the before and after. Alright. You know, so there's a lot of shit that we can do. I actually kind of like this gold texture thing here. Yeah? I kind of get like a retro look all at the same time. So what I'm going to do is I'm press OK. So save this, so control. We'll save this as a JPEG though. So what I'll do? I'll we'll put V1. So this is basically just one, you know, style. Cool, like have options. So I'll go back in a Topaz Labs again. Same thing with we'll go. Adjust five. I'll we'll find something more or now. Well, Complement what I'll go on, right? Let's go stylize. Like as I say, I have a lot of shit where you can do, but there is also shit where you can just tweak presets to your liking. But if you do that, mother sit on yourself the whole day. So now I'm gonna do that. that. So let's have a classic cool tone. I'm gonna find something more complement the picture than take away from the picture. So this kind of look good. Let's put it side by side and see. So this are the after, this are the before. Hmm. So that's kind of cool. I like the kind of the, the blue kind kind of go in with the vibe and the atmosphere. So I run with that. We'll press OK. Cool. Right click. On the right click, Control, Shift, Save. Logo V2. JPEG. Boom. Can do that. Can also now turn that off. Can do another layer. And we have a lot of different filters that we can, you know, fool around with. You understand what I'm saying? So, it's a. Ah, oh boy, brother. I'm more have to look into it, but the last time I checked, I think. I don't think one did out there, Shamdan, but I definitely have to check, bro, and, um, and make you know. But I'm not, I'm not sure still. I don't want to lie to you and tell us if you can look for because I never look for it myself. So I'm not really 100% on whether or not one out there. So, mm-hmm. Just five. I kind of like that one because it's soft. Oh, no, girl, let's see the film. Like the literature style, the literature thing I'm looking at. You know what I mean? Definitely like the literature thing. Also, like this. Kind of give like an old, old look. Okay. Yeah, man. Uh, you have to download them separate, door Benja. You have to download them separate. So, what I'm going to do is remember the first thing what we did do. I think at this hour, when they are 50% opacity. Yeah, now we are going to blend that with that. You know what I mean? So, let's take this one and put this at 50% on the opacity thing. Nice. Now, we have a tool over here, so. Name, um, I think it named Sharpen. Right, that's so a Sharpen tool. 
And if we make this a little bit bigger, we don't use this tool or we don't just press Ctrl Shift Alt E. We don't name this merge. Just so I know, say I'm a merge something, I'm a spell it wrong. I say Megrigi, whatever the fuck that is. And with this tool, we'll just use it, go across the top, all the way down. When we let it go, the wheel is supposed to start spin because Photoshop. Yeah. <laughs> We out there and now go in. Dead them dead. <laughs> All right. Still a spin. Still a blood clot spin. My God. Yeah, man. Give thanks in a shamdan. We're just there. I go through some of a collection, you know? <laughs> And we have about, I think we have about 50 rhythm load up. And we still have wait for this blood clot tool after done, you know. Bumbo clot. Mm hmm Come on. Yeah, dog, tomorrow I'm going back to school, dog. So, I don't know. My video upload, you know, I already set for upload over the next two months. So, my video um set for upload all the way through to August. But as far as up to date, you know, video like record today, upload today, I'm not sure when one of them there come because my school thing start up back tomorrow. Probably over the weekends, them things they were going, but I have more than enough content I go get uploaded still though. More than enough. I have about 40 ready for drop. Um, about 20 or 30 tutorial. A lot of shit I go on, dog. You know, I'll take a little time focus on my website to kind of develop some more content for my website. Now I'll pass some mixing template for FL, Logic and Pro Tools, so them things they soon come. Um, I have a juggling for mix. Master of fact, I just get a juggling for mix with Chronicle up on it. Three that. Um, I'm not sure the other artist I'm yet. I have an artist out in Minnesota and I mix a song for. Um, Fucking, um, I have my one juggling when I walk on. Um, oh my god, <laughs> a shit ton of things in the works. It look like a Photoshop. Tell me if you fuck off. Still, I wait for anything for that, you know? Bomb clot. It's like, we can go get some gear sound come back. <laughs> Photoshop a fuck itself. Heavy, heavy, heavy. And nothing say it a fuck itself still. I just said, be what this more well than like do it fuck you know I really my tough in your outer space Photoshop in about three minutes now. This thing I load and I spin, you know. My blood clot. Yeah, man, Shamdan, definitely, brother. Put in your work, you know, dog. Reap the word in the future, man. I really worry about them things right now. You know. We do have a love and we do have we enjoy. You understand? If we can make money from it, that's just a plus. You understand? I got a school for engineering, yes. Engineering, I do a school. Music, engineering, mixing, and them things there. 
And the main reason why I do it because I don't really need to do it. The main reason why I do it is at the end of it, you know what I mean? I have my certificate, you know what I mean? And I get the opportunity to go intern at one big studio for him somewhere. So, anyway, more and go, I can get an internship today, as long as my grades up on them things there. So, that's the main reason why I do it, you know what I mean? Mixing on them things, I already have a certain way, brother. But, you know, a lot of times when you know people reach out to me and yo brother how much you mix a, a song or whatever I tell them say yo I charge 150 for mix a song a lot of time people are say yo dog that load and that high and you understand me I say brother but for a lot of people tend to not understand that's why I say I don't them to you know, bro you know I teach people exactly what I know for doing you know, brother so a man have to reach out to me and ask me for how much I mix a song you can go watch a video and learn from me you know what I mean? So I really take money out of my own pocket. You know, but I don't look on it like that. You know what I mean? Because at the end of the day, everybody now go want to do it. You understand? Everybody now want to mix. People just want to record. Some people just want voice. You know? Everybody now want to build. Really? So, yeah, man. But that's my guy's school for the mixing, bro. Yeah, dog. Um. Mm-hmm. I think them, my family said this thing is still not done blood clot where I want him yet, dog. Oh my god. Yeah, man, um, Johnny Bravo. The thing is, a lot of, um, a lot of, um, um, where am I saying? Johnny Bravo. What the fuck him say? Um, like Photoshop or something. And you know what It's not really a bug, bro. Um, Photoshop really run off a of RAM. You know, I have 32 gig of RAM, but Photoshop really run off a of RAM and my computer not really optimized for Photoshop. I build my computer for really video edit and build beats. You understand what I'm saying? So, I don't really Photoshop for it. But on a modern computer, this is how it spin and I do all of this for a quick thing. You know what I mean? And I really my fault because I can't have a board a little way. If you can notice, you know, it slowly changes the image, you know. Because the quality of the image slowly had dropped. It's, it's just that I do the whole image multiple times. Because the brush there, one of them brush there, if I sweep it two times, it has a process two times. I'm going to sweep the whole image like three times. So, I really my fault. You know what I mean? Should I really think before me to do it? But, um, yeah, man. <coughs> yeah, bro, 150 is a, is a good price. At the end of the day, now, brother, I understand, like, um, I don't know if he's still there. Um, what's his name? This is another good rhythm, too. <laughs> um, oh my god, that creation. You know, I'm link my last night for mix the mix of juggling, bro. I'm gonna tell him, like, yeah, I'm gonna charge 150, but right now, through them time, yeah, bro, dollar, are uh, you good? You know what I mean? If you had more than one sent me, give a package deal, you understand what I'm say? So, I don't like some of consider say, yo. Me mix Jamaican music a lot of man I yard no have it like that or even some people that are foreign bro them no have it like that so you know me always willing for work with a man as long as a man me, me not tell a man yo brother yeah man like me have one situation where one time me if you mix a song for somebody and me tell a man say yo bro I'm charge $150 right you know say but true you do it for me you do it through a chick you know me say you can give up on a strength for 80 the man link me back and say, yo, brother, you can't mix the first one for free and me pay for rest. Like, immediately, that just made me know, say, you're you not know, really dip on top of your business, bro. Because when me mix that the first song there, the next time, what you do? You, you probably go to somebody else so I give you a cheaper price. You know what I mean? Like, if you willing to pay, like, me have a youth name, they like music for the music, bro. And it's a man who is willing to buy him beats. You understand what I mean? I say, and... You know, if Mr. say you're willing to buy a rhythm and them thing there, brother, I'm all well, me just fling a rhythm and say, yo, bro, all that, I hear it's simple. You know what I mean? And that stuff I'm going to do before. Because if you support me, me must can support you. I'm not going to want you to pay 150 for a rhythm every time. You know what I mean? 250, 3 bills for a rhythm every time. I'm well, me say, yo, he say a rhythm, yeah. go take your 3 bills and your $150 and go promote your music. You know what I mean? Do something that benefit your music in a proper way. You understand what I'm saying? But, you know, a lot of times people just feel like I say, you know, them entitled to some shit what, what you put your effort into and you know, me really can't can't really speak on it because like I said, I know my place, you know, if you feel like that, you feel like that <laughs> but yeah, just ask somebody else, you know, you know like 
I don't know, some people different. <laughs> All right, uh, so I'll go on the uh, chatter. 32 gig of RAM. Yeah, yeah, 32 gig of RAM is cool, bro. It all depends on where you where actually use it for. So, what type? Sliver. And so, we have the first one, uh, our export. And we have the second one. And I think we did do a third. We did, I think we did do this theme, but this is when the first. first this is before me export everything. This um, is this after me did done with it. Yeah, me did tighten up the shadow in a different picture, I think, too. You know, so, yeah, same sliver again. You know, so, yeah, Dream makes a small amount of work with all the while when it comes to our work. So, yeah, man, what I'm going to do is we're going to Photoshop with the um, control um, save. We don't put V3. Actually, we'll just put, yeah, V3, 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 V3. Oh, shit, we just save it wrong. So, I'll put V3, we'll just save it as um, as a um, JPEG. Save. Okay, can close this. And what we can do now, refresh this. So the pop smoke rhythm. Go to WhatsApp, find DreamX. Um, DreamX, DreamX. Alright, uh, there's so. Uh, line them up and just, you know what I mean? Power them off, just like that, you know what I mean? And this is a man I'm work with, where I'm a trust, like, him no pay me for this yet, you understand what I say? But it's a good deal, like, you know, I don't have to worry about the, the, the money, you know what I mean? Because, like, when you do artwork, and especially with artwork, I really want to do artwork, you never want to send out the artwork without that watermark, you know what I mean? And what I mean by watermark is that, if I go back in a Photoshop, what I mean by watermark, I'll show you exactly. I go out of this Photoshop at home, so we'll go. Um, what is thing I need? It's not stuck. I'm um, obvious. Yes, sir. Oh, we don't get. We need to get my logo. So let's load in a V3. Let me get my logo right there. Yes, sir. Official logo. So, yeah, when we say watermark, what I mean is basically. I'm going to take my logo. And put it right over the top of this. Just like your example. You can use anything. Put it down to a like on 20%. Something like that. And send it off. You know what I mean? So it kind of motivate like you know really motivated if you use it because people are gonna see the big blood like watermark all over. Or what we could do as well is we could then take same thing basically and stretch this out to one quarter of the um of the document let me line it up in the center like that simple enter and press ctrl j duplicate it t you know put it over here so basically me i put a watermark we mark it and make the, the people them know say yo this not legitimate you know what i mean like him not pay for it you know what i mean and it moti and it you know it stop people from like just running off with their shit. But I'm like say I go do it, so I'm gonna have to do that. You know what I mean? We just send it exactly as it don't look. If you like it, you know, once you run it by the artist, the artist said good, and I'm like it, then then we're good. You know what I mean? So yeah, shit like that, man, I have to do it with this amount. You know what I mean? Which we never actually ever have to do it for nobody yet. You know, most of the time I just I just cut off, cut off people. Yeah, that's what I say. Um, but yeah, man, I remember who went say. Uh, just show. Oh, to remove the watermark. True, but at the same time, how much people are use Photoshop when they go out and pay for cover? You know what I mean? So you don't pay, or you don't know, or so basically, it would be stupid in a way if you don't pay for the artwork, but go pay somebody to get out the watermark out out of the artwork. You understand what I'm saying? When you could have just pay for the artwork. I mean, no people out there will probably do shit like that in a brother. You know what I mean? Crazy. You know? Hey, man, tell her that. <laughs> shit crazy. But yeah, man, artwork is a thing when me dibble and dabble in a, you know what I mean? It's not not when me can run through a couple of little pictures when me do still real quick. I go sort by 
det. Psycho insane. Yeah man, and a far me at work them a come from me, I don't want nobody come look and go on like I see me at work them nice car. Yeah, have a youth out there and he's a fatal designer, yeah, you know, man. Me bumbo cloth. When you talk about at work, I dim on the bad. You know, but yeah man, a far me at work them a come from, man. Not a fact, let me see if I can go way, way back to when I first when I do them. Like the first time I do a song. Uh, uh, work cover. Yeah, them things I'm at work, them used to look like. A FIFA background this and I just put some text on it, you know, nothing you know really special, you know what I mean? Simple and outless. But yeah, that got far, far, far I think they come from. Mr. Carrier, you fuck. <laughs> I crashed it two times, I grieve your fuck. That's when I did about 180 pounds. I big and fat and outless, you know, your blood clot. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, sir, I try to find one artwork I do for you a while ago, a while ago, a while ago. Can't find nothing still. But yeah, man, all my tutorials, my, my, my thumbnail used to look like straight fuckery, you know. But me eventually come into my own and develop a pattern like this, alright? So this is a rhythm cover, Rusty Blade. So eventually I kind of just come into my own life me say, and the artwork them just start, you know, pick up um, steam and start learn. Eventually them start look like this and I start learn how to get letter behind people. Just like I do with Sliver and just certain like creative shit wa, wa before was shit wa just elude me, you know what I mean? Like that Deva Brat cover you want me do. Them time, I mean, I really know nothing. I just did a try thing and it and it worked. You know what I mean? Respect to the Vibrat, the Fivice, the Rask, the Rhythm. Um, but yeah, man, a far, a far to come from this uh, bang metal. I like that one still. Um, I don't mean, have nothing new in there, so. I think I did a sound new thing, you know. <laughs> and I say, what come in and I say, you late. <laughs> you back, you're good, brother. You're good, man. You know, say, full link, I go up, bro. <laughs> yeah, man. So, some cover what I do, like, me have, like, them things are far. My cover them are come from, dog. Like, this was just a empty, hold on. Uh, this is Mr. Chumps. One song, one, one cover me do for Mr. Chumps. So, if I open this up, uh, Mr. Chumps. Right, that's a name, Money Tree. Far, yeah, where do I come from, dog? <laughs> yeah, dog, you know what I mean? Let me say no shots when I hate shit, dog. When I hate shit, that blood, 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 clean, bro. Want to see you them do it, bro. You know, want to see the man them there road that do them thing, brother. Because if, let me say, if music no work out for me, no, brother, I am more than comfortable. You know, doing what me I do. I don't have no problem with working 9 to 5, bro. You know, you understand? It's just so that me, me pick music and music generate money. You understand what I say? You know, but I want to see them have a way out, brother. And if a music you like, I don't feel like nothing should have stopped you from do music. You know what I mean? It's just knowledge. Knowledge is free, brother. You know what I mean? I don't care who it want to be. You know what I mean? It's just free, that. A lot of people don't know in America, you know, brother. It's when people put out music, and a certain amount of time go by, the music become free. Like 40, 50 years, the music become free and out to the public. You can sample it and have to worry about no copyright, brother. Because basically it gives you enough time to do something with it. You know, and then them say, yo, fling it to the public. You understand what I say? So like this cover ya. Basically, if we let's go all the way back to the start, right? So let's open up all of them four layer. Cool. And we kind of break it apart. Let's um, we don't need this. Uh, can make this as um as big as we possibly need it, right? So let's um. Hold on, we can't make this no bigger. Most can't make this bigger. The fuck? Adjustment. 
We don't, we don't need it. Close that blood clot. We don't need it then. Yeah, man, go suck your mother. All right, so we'll start from, from, from the back. So the first thing is this background we make with the, the, the money logo off of the American bill or whatever, right? And basically, all that was was a grey background and then we blend the image into it, right? On top of that, I add one like a paper tear, right? Yeah, so. And if you look with the paper tear, let me say, I just got in an order because we got up. This is not the exact order when we make it. But basically, if you bring back all of the layer, this is the paper tear, it even 